<clears throat> All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to day two of our fourth annual Synergy Traders Friendsgiving 2023 conference. We have, uh, this is day two of a uh, 27 presentation event uh, brought to you by tradeoutloud.com and timingresearch.com. Um, so uh, all these presentations are for educational purposes only. Trading is not suitable for all people. Uh, please consult a financial advisor and only trade with money you can afford to lose. Uh, all of these sessions are being recorded individually and will be available on uh, the timingresearch.com website. Uh, also, if you search for Timing Research on YouTube, Substack, or your favorite podcast app, you can find them there as well. So, um, let's find my. All right. So, uh, and today, our. Um, I'd like to welcome uh, Peter Schultz to, for our opening presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to him. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Um, just to make sure you're in the right place, this is seven winning secrets to creating fat weekly paychecks, all while enjoying over an 80% chance of winning without having to watch your trades or worrying about when to exit. And this presentation is going to be a little bit different than many. Um, most presentations, I assume, in this event are going to be about trading. Uh, and you can make trading, as you know, about as complex as you want uh, with lines going all over the chart. And my theory was always that if you put enough lines on a chart, uh, at some point, the underline is going to hit one of them. So um, the, the problem is knowing which one. So this is going to be fairly simple and straightforward, but it's deceptive because it's enormously effective. So the truth is most people don't need millions of dollars. That would be nice. It'd be fun to try and figure out how to spend all that money. But for most of us in our day-to-day -day lives, we just need a little more cash flow every month. And we tend to maximize whatever income we have coming in to create a lifestyle that we would like. And um, an extra 500 sometimes, or even um, $1,000 a month would make a huge difference. So what we're going to take a look at today is how to get those amounts, not in a month, but in a week, consistently and pretty darn worry-free. Um, and my name is Peter Schultz. I'm the founder of WealthBuilderPublishing.com and the WinningSecret.com. And we have several different steps on the ladder or the staircase to creating wealth. And what we're going to look at today is the entry level one. And I've always thought that it's hard to create wealth without having some excess savings to invest. And so this is all about this entry level is all about cash flow, creating more cash flow every month that you can, can use for lifestyle, you can put in savings, or you can turn around and invest it in some vehicles that really have a probability of making you actually wealthy. So this is our first step, and it's one of the most exciting because uh, all of us like seeing money every week. We, we love that, that almost instant gratification. So we're going to dive into seven winning secrets to creating fat weekly paychecks. And secret number one is using the right vehicle, and this is very important. And for this vehicle, we're going to use options. So to make large amounts of money with a small account, <clears throat> excuse me, you need leverage. And there's no vehicle on the planet that offers better leverage than options. There's only one problem, and that is leverage cuts both ways. So we want to be at the absolute safest end of the options continuum. And I'm going to get my little pen here so I can, I can make some notes. So we want to be kind of at this end of the continuum. Uh, and what's ironic is most people play at this end, especially when they first learn about options. Uh, but there's a funny thing about options. You know, a lot of the time you start off and you make really good money on your first couple of trades. Uh, beginner's luck, whatever you want to call it. I remember when I started out, I thought my biggest problem in life was going to be what color my Mercedes Benz was going to be. And I ran about a $2,000 account up to 30000 I was feeling really proud of myself and then lost the whole thing. If you haven't done that yet, I, you probably haven't been trading options too long. So very quickly, you learned that the key is to not blow yourself up with this sort of financial dynamite that you're playing with. 
And so it took me a while. I mean, honestly, it took me about 10 years. I mean, because you just get so addicted to being down at this end, which is buying out of the money unhedged options that, you know, buying a really cheap option, a, a 50 cent option that has the potential of turning into three or four dollars, you know, pretty dang exciting. And what nobody really gets too excited about is this end down here. Well, it's kind of too bad that they don't. Uh, because being at the safer end, uh, it's very, very hard to blow up your account. You know, everything is hedged. Uh, you're really protected on top of your hedge option. We also enter stops uh, to cut even that risk in half. Uh, and it's really cool just getting used to winning all the time. That was that was one of the big things for me is, um, I hate to say it, but, but doing the really risky options, I got kind of used to losing. Boy, that's one thing you never want to do. So moving over to this kind of safer end of the options continuum, um, it really gets you used to winning. And in spite of yourself, even if you're not the sharpest tool in the shed or the quickest on your mouse or not the best at technical analysis, you still win about 80% of the time in spite of yourself. And I, I started off with a big ego in trading and trading is nothing if not a good at um, getting you acquainted with, with reality. And so um, I realized that I needed a real mathematical edge, not something imagined in my mind that I'm so good, but something that actually really works consistently with or without me. The good news is even on the safest end of the options risk reward, we still enjoy tremendous leverage. Let me give you a quick example down here on a $200 stock. And I love the expensive stocks because I, I like the movement. I like the options premium. There's just so many good things going on there. But on a $200 stock, you can buy that stock and sell against it, sell an out of the money call against it, and maybe get a 1% return uh, for you know, nine, 10 days of time. Or if we use the strategy I'm going to show you, we can collect a 25% return uh, with actually less risk. So you buy a $200 stock, you have $200 worth of risk and liability, uh, plus you're tying up a heck of a, a, a lot of your capital at $200 a share. Um, so we're going to see how to not only get a much, much bigger return with much less money, but we're going to do it with less risk. So any bad things that you've heard about options are probably from being on that kind of risky end of that options continuum. When you get down to the safe end, what you're going to find is a lot of people that have been doing this for years and years and years and years. In fact, the people that stay alive in options and keep trading and prosper and really make the money are doing exactly what I'm going to show you here. So that brings us to our next secret, and that is secret number two, and that is be the collector. So when I first got involved in this business over 30 years ago, I was speaking all over the country on option strategies and um, was doing two cities a week. It was a heck of a schedule, but I was young and vigorous and I could do it. And I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed seeing the country. But on one late night flight, I was coming home and I sat next to an old retired stockbroker. And I, I thought, boy, I'm going to just really ply this guy. You know, he's got 40 years of experience. He's retired. He's seen absolutely everything. Uh, and we talked about the markets for about an hour, you know, just kind of back and forth, different opinions that, you know, mostly I was listening. Finally, after a couple of whiskeys, he finally growled, son, in the stock market, you can be a collector or a contributor, which one do you want to be? And, uh, and I was thinking about that. And for much of my trading, even as exciting as it was, I had to be honest. And I was kind of it, overall probably being more of a, a contributor than a collector. So after losing a lot of money in my early options trading career, in other words, being a contributor, I started where, wondering where all my lost money was going. So if you've ever lost money on an options trade, you know, it feels like it just gets vaporized. It feels like it's like money on wings, you know, it just disappeared. So I started thinking, you know, is this money actually destroyed or where is it going? Is it is it piling up in Scrooge McDuck's vault? You know, is he jumping up and down on it, screaming and yelling? Or was it just destroyed, vaporized, gone? You know, what was happening? And I started doing some thinking and I, I suddenly realized that there was somebody on the opposite end of my options buying trades. It wasn't the broker. It wasn't the market maker. It wasn't anybody down on the floor. That someone was the options seller. 
And all of a sudden, a light bulb went off in my head as I remember the words of that old retired stockbroker, do you want to be a collector or a contributor? And at that moment, I just said, I am fed up. I am fed up with losing money. I hope, you know, in trading, you know, you stick with it and you try all these things and you get tired of losing money. You get tired of being the chump. You know, you get tired of being the guy that the the big kids are all taking your lunch money away. And and so I just said, I've had it. I'm not doing this anymore. And I jumped on the other side of the options trade. Instead of being a buyer, I turned into a seller and things have been getting better ever since. So when you become an options seller or a collector, all the odds are suddenly stacked in your favor. You suddenly have to go from having about a 20% chance of winning to have over an 80% chance of winning. So um, let's just take a look. I've got a little arrow down here. And this is the Thinkorswim platform, which I absolutely love. And if you decide to come on board, I'm going to show you how to set up your platform. You can change the layout. And the layout that I like for spreads is implied volatility, uh, probability of being out of the money, and the delta. So there's some interesting things here. So probability of being out of the money is, is uh, that's right up here at this column. And that's the probability that this particular strike price is going to be out of the money at expiration. So what I typically sell is about a 20 delta. Now, the options buyers, the speculators out there, the guys that are buying the lottery tickets, are typically buying this option. So they're on the other side of my trade. And, and you know, once you see the odds on this, you're going to say, well, Peter, who would ever take the other side of that trade? And my answer is there's an unlimited number of people. There's a line going down the block and around the corner of people that want to buy the lottery tickets that you're selling. They have stars in their eyes. Uh, they see big profits and they're going to buy those things all day long. So here I have, when I sell this option, I have a 79.98% uh, chance of winning. Let's call that 80%. And uh, the delta on that is, is 21. So, uh, if you know about options, you know that for every dollar the underlying moves, the um, the option's going to move 21 cents, so not a very high delta. And and I've got an 80% chance of winning. Um, so, you know, I have a question for you real quick. If you had a buddy, you went over to his house and he said, listen, I got this coin at the novelty store and it comes up heads 80% of the time. So let's go in the backyard and we're going to flip this coin and you just call heads every time. And every time it comes up heads, I'm going to give you $1,000. Now, so you go out in the backyard with your bunnies, flip, flipping the coin, you're calling heads. And 80% of the time, uh, it comes up heads and he hands you $1,000, 10 $100 bills. Now, my question to you is this. How long would you stay in the backyard flipping the coin with your buddy? And I would suggest you would probably stand out there flipping that coin uh, until it was so dark you couldn't see anymore. Uh, and I'm going to show you what happens on the other 20% of the time that you don't win. Not that ferocious, especially the way that we we set it up with our trading. Um, but this is a winning, winning strategy. So this is why I call it the, the name of our service is The Winning Secret. Uh, the name of this presentation is Seven Winning Secrets to uh, fat weekly paychecks. That's exactly what it is. And what I'm amazed at is you don't have to be so smart because the strategy is smart. And this is all based on how options are priced. So this is uh, originally the Black Shoals options pricing model. They've got others now, but that one, the three mathematicians, the Nobel Prize uh, for creating that, they created it in 73. It's what made the options, the modern options market possible uh, they didn't give him the Nobel Prize until 1998. In fact, one of the guys had already passed away, so they just gave it to two of the mathematicians. But I've tried to outfox this formula so many times, and the formula is so smart. It's one step ahead. Of, you can't really outfox it. So what you do is you put it working in your favor. Once you do that with what I've just shown you here, you're you're just <laughs> you're going to win with or without your good looks and savviness and brains and all those other things you have going for you just because the math works. The math is so tilted in your favor. So instead of paying money for your trade, you get money instantly. So this is another huge advantage. It's a huge difference. The minute you put on this trade, cash shows up in your account. And by the way, you know, I used to say, well, and then, then while you're in the trade, the duration of the trade, you know, gets to determine whether you keep that cash or not. That's not exactly accurate. You get to keep the cash no matter what. That cash is yours. So on a $5 spread, 
if you collect a dollar, and just add a zero to everything, right? So say you collect $100 or $1,000 on 10 contracts, that money is yours to keep no matter what. You get paid that money for taking on a certain amount of risk, and nobody can take that away from you. Now, trades can go sideways and you can lose money, but come hell or high water, you keep that thousand bucks. I like that. And you get the money immediately. <clears throat> okay. So there are two great advantages. And that brings us to our next secret, secret number three. And that is the time hammer. So the biggest difference between options and stocks is that options expire. They have a lifespan. And it's probably safe to say that more people have lost money with options expiring worthless than any other reason. Uh, you know, the big joke in options trading is the stock did exactly what you thought it was going to do the Monday after expiration. I cannot tell you how many times this has happened to me. This is where the, the frustration of options comes in. When you buy options, your, your asset that you purchased is declining in value with every passing day. Um, it, unless, you know, the, the trade really goes your way exactly when you thought it would, you're probably going to lose money. So what you, what happens when you jump into being an options seller, jump on the other side of the trade, the winning side, um, is all that time decay, that big bugaboo, you know, that boogeyman hiding in the closet for most options traders, suddenly becomes your boogeyman suddenly becomes that big brother out on the playground where nobody is scared to even uh, touch you because your big brother is going to come along and pound him. Um, we're going to turn that relentless time hammer to our advantage. You do that when you sell. So think about it. When you sell something that has value, time value, um, from the day you sell it, it is declining in value. The only way this thing can go against you is if, if, this, if the stock suddenly turns around and runs towards your strike. So we're going to use technical analysis. We're going to use the fundamentals. We're going to use all these good things to stack those odds on our favor, you know, as well. But just from a mathematical standpoint, we know we're going to have over an 80% chance of winning. And the time is constantly working in our favor. I cannot emphasize how huge this is. So here's a time decay curve. So when you sell short-term options, uh, time decay becomes your best friend. Well, what's interesting is, is time doesn't decay in a straight line. It accelerates the closer the option gets to expiration. So this is up, this is four months. So this is the fourth month out, right? And here's what you'll notice is that the time decay is actually fairly flat, fairly flat. Uh, a whole month goes by, it doesn't de decline that much. So 90 days out to 60 days, it starts to steepen up just a little bit, okay? And then... Um, in 60 days, going into 30 days, it steepens up a little bit more. And then there's this point in here where it kind of really starts to steepen a lot as uh, the options pricing anticipates getting into that front month or that last 30 days. Now, keep something in mind is traditionally options strike prices were only once a month. So this is how uh, the pricing model works. When you get into this last month, this last 30 days, an interesting thing happens is the time decay starts going down at this incredibly rapid pace till you get to expiration and the, the there's no time value left of course there's no time value left cuz you know you you run out we've we've hit expire there on the meter so uh, for years and years i did all these experiments all this analysis and trying to determine determine where the most or the best part place on the time decay curve was to sell so the absolute sweet pot, sweet spot. So this is this is 30 days right here. Um, and this is, of course, zero days. So from 10 days to uh, 16 or 17 days, right in here is the sweet spot. So what this does is it gives us enough time value left in order to collect some really nice premium, some really nice money coming into our account. And yet we're on such a steep part of the time decay curve, you know, every day actually makes a difference. Keep in mind, weekends are free, right? So the market's not even operating on the weekend. So you're only worried about something bad happening or the trade going against you on the weekdays. And when you sell 10 days a time, you take at least one weekend out of there. So that's just eight days, uh, trading days left. And boy, the time decay goes by really quick. So this is, it, this is an important, if you're, you know, taking notes, 
if you if you're interested in this strategy, if you've done this strategy before, this is something to really take notice of is is this time decay and when the best part of the the curve is to sell. So selling at the steepest part of the time decay curve gives you a huge advantage. But is there anything else we could do? Now, it took, took me a while to figure out this next secret, uh, but it's a good one. And that's secret number four. So the secret number four is volatility magic. So here's what's interesting. The time value of an option is not static. It's not like they say, well, <clears throat> you know, the time value is for a week is this amount on every stock out there. No, it doesn't work that way. This, this formula is complex. It's adaptable. It's absolutely brilliant. These guys should have won the Nobel Prize. Um, so the time value of an option is based on its implied volatility. So that's kind of what, based on what the stock's been doing recently, what traders think it's going to do. So you'll also see this, even if the stock has been fairly flat recently, if you're coming up on earnings and earnings are three, four, five days away, you're going to see a tremendous amount of implied volatility in those options. Why? Because earnings could you know, blow the top off the stock or it could crash the stock. It could do all kinds of things. Earnings, uh, you don't know how them, even if you knew what the earnings were, even if you were the auditor for the company, what you never know is what the market's reaction to earnings is going to be. So the important thing for you to remember is that time value is determined by implied volatility. So just like this graph here is as the volatility goes down, the value of the time goes down. And you can see as, as implied volatility goes down, uh, the value of the option goes down. So here's, here's a concept, here's an idea. If we're sellers of options, why don't we sell when implied volatility is high? We collect this huge amount of premium and then uh, time or no time, even without a lot of time decay, if that uh, volatility goes out, if that great big inflated time uh, volatility balloon suddenly deflates, uh, it's going to melt a huge amount of value into our accounts. Uh, this is an effective way to synthetically shorten the time until expiration, quickly melting all that time premium into our pockets. So one of the big secrets as option sellers is to sell overinflated premium that is likely to dissipate quickly. So sometimes uh, there's a huge amount of volatility premium on an option for good reason, like it's coming up on earnings. Other times, not such a good reason. Here's an example. So I never like to sell premium before an earnings announcement because you absolutely don't know what's going to happen. You could get killed on that deal. But what happens if earnings comes out? And the stock, you know, crashes or whatever. Well, a couple of things are going on there. Number one, you know which direction the stock is going to go because it just did it. The other thing is, is within one trading day or so of those earnings, there's still an enormous amount of time of uh, implied volatility packed into those options because, you know, you don't really know what it's going to, you know, maybe it goes down quite a bit and then it bounces back up. You just don't know what's going to happen. So that can be a really great opportunity to collect a lot of premium and then have it um, just dissipate. Another time, uh, and you see it all the time with stocks in the market, is some piece of news comes out and there's this big knee-jerk reaction in the stock. You know, it spikes up this huge amount of money or whatever. Well, you take a look at that news and you've been around for a while and you've been trading and you say, you know, this news is not that big of a deal. And not only that, it's going to, this news or the effect of the news is going to dissipate fairly fast. We don't think it really has that much to do with how much the company is going to earn or how much the company is going to do. It's just kind of kind of like a one day phenomenon. When you see that, that's a great opportunity to sell uh, an option. You know, in the opposite direction that the stock's going to go, collect all that premium, and then just watch it disappear. This is a big trick that a lot of option sellers don't take advantage of. And um, and it's it's incredible. It's incredible how it works. So you can you can take ten days of time and compress it into like two days. So uh, you know two days later uh, after selling this premium, even though you sold ten days of time, uh, you know it can be worth the the option can be worth so little. You just buy it back. You close out the trade. Boom, you made your money. You don't have to hang around for the next eight days. This is a great way to once again synthetically shorten the time until expiration. Uh, very, very effective way to make money. 
So wouldn't it be nice to see at a glance whether options premiums are expensive or cheap? How do we know? Well, fortunately, there is a way. Many options trading programs and brokers now show statistics for historic versus implied volatility. So historic volatility is what the range of movement has been over a long period of time, longer period of time. And implied volatility is what the volatility is right now. So it's always in relation to historic volatility. So if the implied volatility, it's always expressed as a percentage. So if the implied volatility is lower than the historic volatility, uh, that means that the options uh, and the time value is cheap. It's not going to be very expensive. If there ever was a time to buy options, that's probably a good time to do it when that time value is really, really cheap. Now, when the implied volatility is greater, sometimes it's much greater than the historic volatility, good time to sell that volatility, assuming you know, you're not going into an earnings event or there's some big booby trap waiting for you out there to explode your, your trade. But if you perceive it to be a temporary thing, it's just a little spike, it's nothing to worry about, great time to collect, great time to sell. So now we've got three big winning secrets. So become a seller of options instead of a buyer. Can't overemphasize this enough. You can go out and, and try and figure this out on your own and get the equivalent of a Harvard e education by the time you figure out the right side of the options trade to be on. But I'll just tell you, after losing a lot of money myself, become a seller. You'll get used to winning. Sell a short amount of time to take maximum advantage of time decay. By short, I mean 10 to 17 days right in there. And number three is whenever possible, sell high volatility to take advantage of volatility collapse. And volatility collapse always comes when the implied volatility is far greater than the historic volatility. So these are three big winning secrets. And that brings us to our next secret, secret number five. And that is how and what to sell. So how to sell a credit spread? So the trick is to sell something that will likely never see the light of day. In other words, where the underlying has very little chance of touching your sold strike. So if you guys uh, kind of like to follow Tesla because it's so darn entertaining and uh, they make good stuff, they make great cars that go really fast. And Elon Musk is, you know, he's an incredible, uh, you know, there's never a dull moment with that guy and they're always innovating. So here's a trade, recent trade as of actually this morning. And what we did here is we sold uh, right here. We sold the uh, 232.50. Fortunately, this, uh, this particular stock has a lot of great strikes. It's got $2.50 increment strikes. Those never used to be available. So we sold this one and we bought this one. It's a, uh, <clears throat> no, actually we sold the 235, it looks like. Uh, the 235, pardon my handwriting here. Uh, and we bought to hedge the 232.50. And, um, oh my gosh, it's getting worse here. 232.50. So that's a $2.50 spread. We collected, uh, it shot up this morning. It shot up higher and then it came down a little bit. And that's when we collected our credit. So we collected 50 cents. So once again, this is a this is a two dollar and fifty cent spread, and we collected fifty cents. So that means we have two dollars. You know, nobody can take that fifty cents away from us. Now, if fifty cents is not exciting to you, just start adding zeros to it. You know, you do ten contracts, that's five hundred bucks in your pocket. You do twenty contracts, it's a thousand. So it actually does make a difference. So the maximum that we can lose is two dollars. If, if if we make a 50 cent profit on $2, that equals a 25% return. Uh, this one happens to be expiring uh, a week from this Friday. And tomorrow, if you've been following Tesla, they're making their big Cybertruck debut. This one, uh, Elon, um, he just guarantees that they're not going to be breaking any windows on this launch. Uh, the stainless steel that they're making the exoskeleton out of is super, super tough. They can't dent it with a sledgehammer. It's kind of what every urban warrior needs to go get their cup of coffee at Starbucks, just in case they're attacked by insurgents. 
And, um, you know, th we're not talking Beirut. We could be talking downtown San Francisco here. So I think these cyber trucks are going to be very, very popular. Uh, launches are always really exciting. As you can see uh, from a technical standpoint, this is just what we wrote last night in the write-up. Uh, and I have a huge extensive write-up, but this is just the chart. Tesla just broke out of a sideways pennant pattern, which indicates it's ready for a new leg higher. We'll be selling below both uptrend and horizontal support. Here's our uptrend support. Uh, uh, we got horizontal support right here, which the stock just broke through on pretty decent volume. Uh, very convincing. It's up again this morning. I think this is going to be a good trade for us. It's one that I don't know if you could place now. I don't know if it's too late or not, but we just got filled in like the last hour. So that's kind of cool. 25% uh, return in just nine days of time, two of which happen to be weekend. Uh, this is Adobe. This one just expired this last Friday. So here's when we did the trade right here. So see this big red bar here comes down, gets us a much better credit than we are hoping for. Uh, here's the, uh, once again, I've got a whole fundamental analysis and everything I do in the update, but just on the chart here, it says Adobe just broke out of a $70 cash box, which means it could have $70 of upside from the breakout point. The stock is obviously super bullish and we'll be selling both below both horizontal and upside support. So it came down. We got a really nice credit. It expired. For, now, keep in mind, we shoot typically for a 25% return, but we got a much better credit on this one because of this big down bar right here, which as you can see, it's about the only down bar in this whole incredible run right here. So on this one, we got a 38% uh, 38 return. Uh, and for just nine, nine, 10 days of time. That's just absolutely incredible. I don't even know why I have this decimal point here. Let's just go 38%. Uh, do a few of these and it's going to make a believer out of you. Here's another one uh, that just expired on Friday. <clears throat> so this is, um, well, we sold the 174. We bought the 172. That is a $2 spread. Um, and once again, it bounced up here. Uh, came back down. We got filled on this down spike here, uh, and then it just proceeded higher, uh, expired uh, a maximum profit on Friday. On this one, we got uh, just for nine days, we got 35%. So as you can see, we can do pretty good. Uh, I don't know what is with the decimal points here. This is 35% um, and fairly just hands-free, really nice trade. Uh, when you see a big green bar like here, it's it's very bullish, very positive. Uh, the biggest the biggest move seen on the chart. Uh, we'd expect some retracement. We got some, but not much as this index is starting to move. It could be extensive, and it turns out that it was. Uh, when you see these big gaps like this above previous resistance, very bullish. Uh, so we do technical analysis. I mean, it's not like we're anti-trading. We do all of this thing, all of these things. We start off with an 80% chance of winning, but once you once you incorporate a really great chart, uh, some analysis, some fundamental analysis, what's coming up. Fundamentals would be like Tesla releasing the Cybertruck tomorrow. That's a big fundamental event. And then the chart confirms it. And then the market direction confirms that. We always go in the general direction of the market. It's I don't want to say it's difficult to lose because in the markets, anything can happen. But boy, you are putting so many deck stackers in your favor. It's just it's just easy to win. So uh, what to sell a credit spread on? That's the second part of this particular secret. And the trick, you might want to take some notes again. If you're taking notes, write this down. The trick is to sell something that's very liquid. You know, a big stock that everybody knows about trades a lot. It has enough value to provide a good credit. We want to collect some good money. That's what we're doing here. And preferably has weekly expirations and dollar strike prices. I almost don't trade anything anymore. <clears throat> excuse me. That doesn't have weekly expirations because I want that kind of short nine, 10 day time window. I want to be on that steepest part of the time decay curve. And I don't want to wait a month until I sell my next option. I want weekly paydays. That's the whole point here. We set up for two of these uh, paydays per week. Uh, we generally get them, uh, and it's just a really a nice way to just see cash flow just constantly hitting your account, especially cash flow that you really don't have to manage much. I know there's a lot of trading strategies out there. There's some really great ones, but my gosh, you, you got to be Johnny on the spot with your mouse. You got to see when this line crosses that line, you get this trading signal. 
you got to drop everything like a big Chinese fire drill and run over there and make a trade. Man, I don't want to trade that way. I don't want my life to be that way. I want things to be a little bit more relaxed. And this is a really, really nice kickback, relaxed way to trade where you just don't have to worry about your trades, but you're still getting some really good returns. Okay, what's next? So um, th that's a lot of requirements for stocks. So that is not every stock or ETF by a long shot. But fortunately now there are plenty of good candidates that have weekly options that have uh, dollar uh, strike prices that have uh, you know narrow bid ask spreads that really just meet all of our criteria. So we recommend on the service, we recommend two trades per week. So number one, we do an aggressive trade on a stock. So it's either bullish or bearish, depending on the market. And we always trade in the direction of the overall market. You want that wind at your back. You know, they say something like 75, 80% of stocks trade in the general direction of the market. I, it, that kind of feels true. Uh, you really want the wind at your back. You never want to be fighting the tide. Um, that's a losing proposition. We want to stack everything in our favor as we can. And the good news is this is just as easy to do bullish trades as bearish trades. There's absolutely no difference. It's the difference between selling put spreads or selling call spreads. So number two, our second trade is a more conservative trade on an index or an ETF like the SPX, the RUT, or the QQQ. The reason we want to do that is because there's no single stock news risk. You know, you don't find, uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, the secretary was sitting on the CEO's lap and, oh, that's inappropriate and we just have to crash the stock. You know, we just can't put up with that kind of behavior. So that's what happens with single stocks or, you know, worse yet, you have like a BP oil disaster in the Gulf and nobody wants to own that stock anymore 20 years later. So some bad things can happen to single stocks, but when you have a big index like the S&P 500 or the Russell 2000 stocks, you know, you're not going to have that single stock news risk. So this more conservative trade is what we typically do in a Roth account. So in one of my other webinars, I show you how to do all of this in a Roth and how to get the approvals to do that. So imagine getting this kind of cash flow, you know, shooting for 25% every 10 days or so in a Roth where, you know, the, the gains are tax free. I mean, there's retired people out and, you know, you don't have to be that old. It's like, gosh, I think it's 59 and a half. You know, you can start taking money out of a Roth. I mean, I know guys that are 59 and a half that are still climbing El Capitan down in Yosemite, you know, they're wrestling grizzly bears and chasing around 23 year old women and, you know, doing all kinds of things. So 59 and a half, you know, if you take your vitamins and stay in shape is not that old anymore. And um, you can start living off of your Roth. I mean, this is a, this is a really great way to do it. I know a lot of guys that do do this. Um, with our micro cap service, we deal with a lot of CEOs and there's a CEO that I turned on to this. I won't say what company he is, but God, this guy is so ecstatic. Calls me up all the time. And uh, last month he made $40,000 doing this. And um, <laughs> that was his best month ever. He was in a very good mood. And, and I love it. We get along really good. But um, I love it when people do well. If you join up and you do well, you start making some money with this. I want to hear from you. I love these victories. So now you know how to sell and what to sell. And that brings us to our next secret, secret number six. And that is, is when to sell. Now, this is really important. So we already talked about selling at the steepest part of the time decay curve. And that is, you know, this little section here where this gosh down uh, time value, the options just falling like a rock. So we collect, you know, big money here and that turns into littler and littler money as you get closer to expiration. And all that money just magically melts right into our account. So that's really, really cool. But is there anything else we can do? Well, for you traders out there that are familiar with Bollinger Bands, um, all these are is, uh, so this is the mean, the red line here is the mean, the arithmetic mean. And then what the blue line is, and this is something Bollinger figured out, he's still down in LA, he's still doing his thing. But this is, uh, he figured out that most uh, stocks uh, follow bands, these blue bands here, that are two, this two SD uh, stands for two standard deviations from the mean. Now, occasionally you'll you'll get outside of that like this little one right down here, but not by much. So a lot of people consider or think of it this way, that the stock is connected uh, by a rubber band 
to the arithmetic mean, this red line that you see here. And the further it stretches away from that arithmetic mean, uh, the more likelihood it has of bouncing back. And that's that's pretty much what you see here. Once again, you can see a little bit of deviation. Sometimes you can get out to three deviations. And boy, if you ever see three deviations, you know you got to bounce back really quick. That's just too far. So here's what's interesting, is these Bollinger bands are not absolute values. They're just relative values to the mean, the arithmetic mean. So when you get up here, uh, two standard deviations away from the mean, you can collect some big call premium. When it starts crashing down here and you get two standard deviations from the mean, you get big put premium. And you can just keep doing this over and over and over and with, with a pretty good chance. Now, if, if, you, if you're taking notes and you're writing stuff down and you really want something to go by or something concrete, one of the things that you can do is when the stock is two standard deviations from the mean, you sell three standard deviations because the chances of the stock getting out to three standard deviations are, I don't want to say practically non-existent, but they're practically non-existent. I mean, it just, it just does not happen. And if it does get three standard deviations, uh, something happens and this thing bounces back really quick. So this is a, a, a great trick or a strategy or a method to sort of know when to sell. Uh, you'll get more credit. And at, because you're getting more credit, because so as the stock goes down, the put premiums are just really juiced. I mean, it's all that implied volatility goes in there and they're so valuable. They're so juiced. You can actually sell a little bit further from the underlying and still collect really, really good money. So you kind of add a layer of safety in there and you're still collecting some fantastic levels of premium. Uh, when the stock reverses and turns around and shoots up, uh, goes from here all the way up to here, uh, you know, the opposite happens. The calls are super, super juiced. Uh, they're really, really valuable. And you sell those out of that third standard deviation and collect just a tremendous amount of money fairly safely. So this is kind of a cool thing. So uh, also when volatility is high, you can sell less time. And that's what we were just talking about. Sell less time and still enjoy an excellent return. So typically, you know, volatility is interesting. It kind of goes in streaks. So typically we'll sell sell nine, you know, nine to 10 days of time when premiums are higher. So one of the ways you can tell that is the VIX, if you're familiar with the volatility index on the S&P 500. Uh, when the VIX is a little bit higher, uh, you're, those time premiums on the S&P are gonna be better. When the VIX is really low and stays low for a long period of time, you're gonna have to sell a little bit more time to get the premium that you need. And that's gonna be, 16, 17 days. But the thing is, that's good to keep in mind is we're over always overlapping our trades. So uh, for this week, we're not selling for this Friday, we're selling a week from this Friday. Next week, we do the same. Next week, we do the same. So you're always having something expire worthless uh, on every Friday. Uh, and by the way, if, if that's not enough for you, having paydays every single week, now the S&P 500, uh, the Russell, the QQQ, some of these really heavily traded indices um, have expirations on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can just play this game six ways from Sunday. I mean, it's just amazing how many paydays you can set up. Um, so now you know how to sell, what to sell, and when to sell. And that brings us to our next secret, which is secret number seven. This is our last secret, and actually one of my very favorites. And that is, is automatic profits. So, you know, people in the past have called me um, lazy, and I don't like that word. That empires some kind of moral depravity. And what I prefer is the word efficient. So you show me a smart, lazy person, and I'll show you efficiency. And that's what we've created here is efficiency. And who doesn't want efficiency? Now we're in the virtue category. I like that a lot better. So what makes... Um, this is such a great strategy to trade is not just your overwhelming probability of winning, but the fact that you really never have to touch your trades once you enter them. I'm going to show you how to do that. So enjoying great returns without having to watch your trades makes this an incredible lifestyle strategy. Um, we'll do that by entering automatic orders on the Thinkorswim platform, creating an automatic money machine. These orders work your trade perfectly, whether you have time to watch the markets or not. 
And I love that. So let me just give you some examples here. So uh, we're going to probably enter our trades manually. I give you a target credit, the minimum that we're willing to accept. Usually that's around 25%. So that's 50 cents on a $2.50 spread. It's $1 on a $5 spread. Uh, sometimes we'll do $2 spreads. We'll get 40 cents. So that's our, our 25%. But a lot of the time, the underlying will you know, jump around the next morning when we go to place our trade, and we'll get more than that. But we're never going to get less than that. If we can't get paid adequately for a risk, we don't want to do the trade. There's another trade that will come along that might be better. So once we've gotten filled, so once we have our trade, we're going to enter automatic orders. And this is super, super cool. And I don't even have a slide on this, but I, it's really important. So I'm going to do some writing over here on the right-hand side. So here's what's interesting. So here's a spread, right? So um, let's say this is a, a put spread. The stock is going higher. And we're going to sell. Uh, and, and I love this vertical line because that's our that's the finish line. That's the payday. That's what, why you never have to worry about exiting the trade is because you always know where your payday is. Um, so we're gonna sell this uh, option and buy this option. So here's the thing. Let's say that this is a $5 spread, just for the sake of uh, an example. So if we collect, and this is our typically our minimum on a $5 spread, we collect $1. Uh, so that leaves us a $4 risk and that's if, if this thing suddenly turns around and goes through both of our strikes. And it's a 25% gain, but it's a $4 risk. So if we lost the $4, we got to keep the $1, uh, that would be pretty devastating. That would mean we would lose our entire margin risk or you know, basically 100% of what we had to lose, we would lose. So here's the interesting thing about options theory, which is really cool. Here it is. Say the underlying turns around and goes down and it hits your sold strike. If we set a stop, this is another really cool thing about setting our money traps. And this is what I mean by automatic trading. As Soon as we get filled on this trade, we're gonna enter a stop right at our sold strike. Is my time up? I thought I had an hour, I, I didn't know. Here's at 45 minutes. Anyway, we'll, we'll get cruising here. Um, I'm going to wrap up here in just the next 10 minutes. So here's, but this is important. If um, if we set a stop at our sold strike, all we can lose is half the difference between the strikes. So now we're getting a $1 credit and we can only lose $2.50. So we literally cut in half our potential loss. So this is absolutely huge. This is this is a uh, it's enormous. Uh, I just want to get you the general concept right now is we're not going to have this entire four dollars at risk. We're never going to do that. The most we're ever going to be able to lose is this two fifty unless there's some gap, and those are really rare. Um, uh, these automatic orders are tremendous, and so we set our stop. It's a GTC stop. It's good till canceled. We've got expiration waiting out there at nine days or so. Um, that's going to exit our trade even if we fell asleep, did a Rip Van Winkle and slept right through the trade. So um, there's there's one exception where you want to handle your trades before expiration. And if, if you've already realized most of your profits in just a few days into the trade, then close the trade. Take your profits. And that's especially true in volatile markets. Don't sit around waiting for something bad to happen. Boy, if you've got 90% of your credit or even 80% of your credit and there's still a week left, close that trade and move on. And the moment you close the spread, you eliminate risk, keep the profits and free up your margin. So now you know um, <clears throat> all seven secrets. What can we expect to make? So this all sounds good, but what's realistic? So, um, you know, after factoring in cash holds, we don't, we don't invest our entire account, losses, buybacks, can we make 20%, 15%, maybe 10%? I don't want to overhype your expectations. I want to set expectations at something I think I know you can exceed. So let's take this, our potential return, all the way down to just 5%. And instead of saying nine or 10 days, let's say that you're turning your money every two weeks. So even a longer period of time. So let's see what that looks like, starting with just a $10,000 account. So this is what it is. Um, this is an incredible curve here. And it speaks to the power 
of compounding. Uh, after two years, 10,000 has grown to over 104,000. You're bringing in over 10,000 per month in income. It's kind of amazing. Got people that are out there doing this kind of thing right now. And if you're thinking, well, Peter, this is a crazy graph. This is so unrealistic. You know, I know in the stock market, you have up, up months, down months, up weeks, down weeks. It's never this uniform. It never climbs like this. And you know what? You're exactly right. It doesn't. It, there is ups and downs on the way. But what if it even comes close? And the math says that this is what's going to happen because you're so mathematically stacked in one direction. And that's the direction of winning. So you can try the strategy out for yourself, starting with as little as $200 per trade. You can actually do this with a $2,000 account. I recommend 5,000. It's a great, great way to create some cash flow. There's just one problem if you do it yourself. And if you don't do really well right off the bat, if you lose on your first couple of trades, you could potentially quit. And that would be a shame because this really is the best way to trade. You've got a high likelihood of winning. There's the hands-free nature of trading and the tremendous compounded returns over time. I don't want you to quit. So to make you sure you start off profitably and stay that way, I put together an educational package that's the best anywhere for this strategy. Used to sell this for $2,500, still get great emails from people that bought it for that. There's still cash flow in this strategy. They absolutely love it. Uh, you're going to get a much, much, much better deal today. And I mostly want to be talking about education here, and this is good education, but I want to just tell you what's available. Um, so you might want to take advantage of this. So this whole package I put together is called The Winning Secret to More Income More Often. And the first thing that you get is a, a complete uh, course. It's in the form of a, a recorded uh, webinar. It's how to trade credit spreads for fun and profit. It shows you step-by-step -step how credit spreads work, why they work so well, and how they can work for you. And uh, it's so much fun and winning is always fun. And, and that's what I want you to get used to is winning. So with this package, you get a 161 page downloadable ebook, complete with color graphs, charts, pictures, and everything you need to start trading profitably and stay that way. You get a 10 chapter video series. This is fairly new where you can hear and see exactly what to do to start generating this income. You'll also gain access to your archive webinars and video tutorials so you can discover new strategies ways to improve your returns and limit your risk. And you'll have access to all new additions for life as an owner of this package. Um, plus you'll get videos that show you how to set up automatic orders with our favorite broker for spread trading to trap profits, whether you have time to watch the markets or not. I love these money traps. Uh, and you get, and I'm gonna include your first month subscription. Now your subscription is, I think it's $97 a month. That's not gonna be a factor because if you're bringing in uh, you know, 500 a week or 1,000 a week. I, I always think the best uh, training advice and education should always pay for itself, that you shouldn't have to pay for that. So I'm going to include your first month so you can get started. You get two new high probability, tra probability trades every week. And it's a really good service. I show you exactly where to sell your spreads, exactly how to sell them for the possibility of maximum gains with minimum risk. And I'll even if things start looking dicey, I don't like the the, the looks of the market or that particular trade, I'll come in and I'll give you an email and a text alert if you want to get texts that say, hey, listen, you know, it's time to get out of this trade. I don't like what's coming. Let's close it early. Or if there's an opportunity that comes up in the middle of the week, it's not a regular Tuesday night update. Um, I'll tell you about that as well. So it uh, comes out late Tuesday night. You'll have the opportunity to make your trades Wednesday morning. And then we enter our automatic stops and just kick back and forget about that trade until the next week. Plus, I'm going to provide an extra bonus. You get a 10-module video course specifically on trading the weeklies. Weeklies are the best thing that's happened to the options market since options were invented. Uh, love the time decay. Love being able to pick where we sell. Really, really exciting. Um, in addition, we all know the best way to learn is through one-on-one -on -one education. This is kind of what sets us apart from everybody else on, on you know that sells uh, programs is I really want you to get this. I want you to do this. I think it's really important for your financial well-being. So I want to give you a lot of personal attention. So this is Deanna, and her birthday's coming up in a few days. I'm going to have to take her out to lunch, and um, she's going to give you a one-on-one -on -one orientation to make sure you get your account set up the right way, and you know how to take best advantage of this information. She's fantastic. You're going to love her. She's been doing this quite a bit. This is just a one-on-one -on -one on your computer, she kind of shows you how to navigate the service, navigate the site, 
Uh, so you, it's not another one of these deals where you bought a package and you're really excited about it for a few minutes and then you get confused, you don't know what to do, and then there it sits on the shelf and you don't use it. So I want you to use it. So I'm going to get you hooked up with Deanna here and she's going to get you lined out, get your account set up the right way and get you the right trading uh, clearances so you can start doing this. But the really exciting thing about this package, probably the most exciting, is Alicia. And Alicia is a freaking genius. Um, she's amazing. She doesn't look like a financial guru. She's got tattoos. She's young. She's good looking. Um, she has a little bit of a foul mouth, although she won't do that with you just around the office here. It's kind of startling sometimes. But what's cool about Alicia is she is so darn good at making people money with options and using this strategy. So she gives... 45 minute personal coaching sessions tailor made to your learning pace, your skill level. And she is so good at making people money. And what we have, we have a, a three session coaching packages and eight session coaching packages. People spend one session with Alicia and they just want more. Uh, the reason is not because they haven't figured out what a call or a put is, but because she's so sharp at, at helping you find trades and look for the right trades that make you money. So people have signed up for eight session coaching packages back to back. I think our record is five or six back to back eight session coaching packages that go on for six months or so. And like I say, it's not because people have a hard time learning, although that's what you'll be doing in the beginning. Uh, but very quickly, you learn that Alicia is a great trading partner. She can't tell you what to trade. We're not registered investment advisors but she can sure show you what to look for uh, to really increase your odds. I think you're going to love her. Everybody falls in love with this gal. She's been working for me for over 10 years now. I love her. She's the one that I bounce complex options ideas off of because she can tell you pretty quickly whether they're going to work or not. She's sharp. So really looking forward to you getting a, a session with Alicia that's included in this package. And uh, so we put it all together here. And I want to make some money together. Nothing's more gratifying. I've got an incredible offer. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to actually go there. It's not $2,500. It's not even $1,000. Uh, this is the best deal we've ever offered on this package. Keep in mind, you get the first month's uh, subscription with that. And then you get a session with uh, Deanna, one-on-one -on -one session with Deanna to get you oriented. And then what you're really going to love is your personal coaching session with Alicia. And she is, she's fantastic. You're going to love her. So all this is offered at fatweeklypaychecks.com. That's the URL. You can also call us at this 877 toll-free number if you want to do it by phone. Verify that we're real people, that we're really here. But go to fatweeklypaychecks.com. It's all going to be laid out there for you. Um, I couldn't be more excited about this. Um, it, two reasons. You really get used to winning the probabilities are so in your favor and really the hands-free nature of the trading. And then of course the returns, the returns are fantastic. Uh, you add them up, you add up these compounding returns and, and they kind of blow you away. Um, that is it for my time. Uh, we just have a couple of minutes left. Thank you so much, David. And thank you for listening. Uh, this trading strategy has kind of turned my life around. It's kind of changed everything. And I hope it does the same for you. David, do we have questions? Anything we can answer? Should we transition? Um, um, oh, someone asked, why do you use such narrow spreads? That's an excellent question. The reason is, and you can do this yourself, you can figure this out on your own just by going to a, <clears throat> excuse me, an options chain, but Essentially, the narrower the spread, the higher the return. So you kind of have to balance that, right? So if you do a $1 spread and you only get 20 cents, you got to do so many contracts that the options commissions are going to kind of eat you up. So you kind of want to balance that up out. You want to do um, a number of contracts that you can afford with the commissions, uh, but still give you a really high rate of return. So we typically, the sweet spot for me really is about a $2 spread to a $2.50 spread. Gives you a really high rate of return uh, and you don't have to do a, a, a you know an extraordinary number of contracts. But yeah, that's a great question. 